may be rich, I may be poor, but whatever need I can ask God for, so I'm gonna keep on praising Jesus' name. I may be up, I may be down, but you're never gonna see me frown, cause I'm gonna keep on praising Jesus' name.
Thank you so much. Good afternoon, folks. Everybody put your hands together. Come on. When Peter was fishing by the sea, Jesus walked up and said, come follow me. With hopes and dreams afloat, we left that fishing boat. But it took a storm for Peter to finally see. Tell me who needs a Lord. You've got to walk on the water. Tell me who needs a Lord. You can walk on the sea. Anything is possible. You've got to believe. With your eyes on Jesus, tell me who needs a Lord. Storms of life blowing in on you. Are you going under? You don't know what to do. Listen, just have a heart of faith. Get out of your boat today. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Do a little walking too. Tell me who needs a boat. You can walk on the water. Tell me. Tell me who needs you both. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. You've got to believe. With your eyes on Jesus, tell me who needs you both. With your eyes on Jesus, tell me who needs you both. Anything is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve French, if you enjoyed that song, let him know it. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, what a great audience. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for coming to our program. We are so thrilled about today, and, and, and we're glad to have you here. How are you folks doing? Oh, I believe you got a better one than that. How are you all doing? Thank you so much. If you're seeing our group for your first time, this is our 17th year in full-time gospel music, and we spend the biggest part of our time at Dollywood. And we sing there nine months out of the year. Uh, we sing from April all the way through the end of the year, January, February, March, which is when we get on the bus, travel around the country. We sing at Dollywood five days a week, three or four times a day, and we sing the greatest music in the world, southern gospel music. So... Uh, Listen, y'all just keep doing what you're doing. Clap, scream, holler, throw babies up in the air, and just make yourself at home. And the more that you do, the more these young fellows will sing for you. Let me take just a second and introduce the guys, and I'll start with the young fella who plays the bass guitar for our group. Ladies and gentlemen, he has been with our group for 22 years now, and that's a long time to do anything. And to be honest with you, I didn't even think he'd live that long. Growing up, I used to hear Mama say she was going to kill him. She just never could catch him. He's my younger brother. Would you please make him welcome? Chris French. You're glad to see Chris. Hey, it's three of us boys growing up, and Chris has always been the fireball in our family. It just don't take a lot to get him wound up. Man, look at him. He is wound up this evening. I'm telling you, he is ready to go. What's going on with you, bud? Are you excited? Well, I, yes. Can't you tell? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to hold it back. I can see that. Well, I'm just tired and, and sleepy. I just didn't, didn't sleep good last night. I guess, I don't know, I mean, just being anxious about the day, but it made right. me have weird dreams. Oh, really? Yes. I, last night I dreamed that I was on an airplane with four other people and the plane was going to crash. And we got to looking around and found four parachutes. But there was five people. 
So oh. there's five of you and four parachutes. Right. Somebody's going to get left out. Yes, and, you know, so we was trying to decide who was going to get them. And the first person to speak up was George Bush. And he stood up and he said, you know. Wait a minute. He wait, said, a, I'm the, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You were on an airplane with President George W. Bush? This is my dream, yes. <laughs> I'll tell it. But he stood up and said, you know, I'm the president of the United States, probably the most powerful man in the world, and our country really needs me right now. And so we all agreed, and we gave him a parachute, and he jumped. Well, the next person to speak up was Shaquille O'Neal with the L.A. Lakers. Yeah. He stood man, up. you run with a diverse crowd, don't you? I know. I can't figure that out. But anyway, he stood up and said, you know, he said, I'm the center for the L.A. Lakers, you know, and, you know, I was voted MVP, and that team really, really needs me. And not to mention the fact that he's 7'2 and weighs about 400 pounds. I wasn't going to tell him that he couldn't have one. <laughs> so we give him one, and he jumped. Well, the next person to speak up was former First Lady Clinton, Hillary. This is where it becomes a nightmare. <laughs> no, I meant... with no makeup on. <laughs> anyway, she stood up and said, you know, said my husband's a former president, I'm now a U.S. senator, and probably the smartest woman in the world. And she didn't even ask, she just grabbed one and jumped. I was glad to see her gone. <laughs> well, I got to look and all that was left was me and a little 12 year old boy scout. And I got the feeling bad, you know, because he had his whole life ahead of him. And I told him, I said, you know, I, you've got your whole life ahead of you. I've lived half my life. I'm ready to meet my maker. You just take the other shoot and jump, and I'll take my chances and write it down. He said, oh, there ain't no need of doing that. He said, there's two left. He said, that smartest woman in the world grabbed my backpack. <laughs> dreams how sound effects come with them. <laughs> our drummer, ladies and gentlemen, has been with our group for 12 years now, and we just can't do without him. He is from Oceana, West Virginia, Dennis Murphy. <laughs> Playing piano, listen, if you love piano music, you're going to love this guy. I've heard them all, and I say this every day, and I still stand on it. This guy is the best that I have ever heard. From Brownsville, Kentucky, Jeff Stocks. That's the Kingdom Bear Band, folks. How about a big round of applause for all these guys? This young man has been with our group for 11 years now, and to be honest with you, he sings the part that I always wanted to sing. Growing up listening to quartet music, I always wanted to be the bass singer. I got the baritone kind of stop. But if I could sing bass, I'd want to do it the way this young fella does it. From Coleman, Alabama, Eric Minnick. This is my son, he's 12 years old. He is the best tenor. First of all, he's not mine, he's 30 years old, and he's the best tenor in Southern Gospel music. From Goldsboro, North Carolina, David Sutton. I learned a long time ago to have a good quartet. You get, it's an absolute must. You, you really gotta have a great bass singer, you gotta have a great tenor, and you've heard these fellas, they're wonderful, the Lord's really blessed us. But you need somebody in the middle that sings the most important part, and that's the lead part. I don't know of anybody that does it better than this fella. From Asheville, North Carolina, Arthur Ross. My name's Steve French. One more time, that's all the kingdom to man.
gonna keep telling the people about Jesus and all he's sharing his love every day. Just like the pilgrims who walked this road before, we must be ready.
Oh, you like that song. You know, no matter what you search for in this life, and no matter how far you look, you can never outreach or outmeasure the love of God. Amen? Amen. Yeah, let's give Jesus a hand clap of praise. Well, thank you so much for coming to our program. You know, uh, we don't take it lightly that you would come and spend a few minutes with us. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you come to a concert or you, and you see somebody standing on stage or you go to your church on Sunday morning and you see your pastor standing in front of the pulpit or maybe you see somebody on TV, a lot of times we look at those people and we think, man, they must have it made. They must not have a care in the world. But you know, as my daddy used to say, everybody puts their britches on one leg at a time. I injured my back several years ago, and through the years it got a little worse and a little worse, and I ended up having to have back surgery a year ago this past May. I had fusion surgery, and uh, everything's doing good. My back's healed up really good, and uh, uh, as a matter of fact, as of about uh, three or four weeks ago, I'm totally off of all my medication, totally off of all my painkillers. Yeah! That might, may not mean anything in the world to y'all, but it just makes me want to run around this building right now. Ooh, somebody hold this microphone. <laughs> Do you know, up until the time of my surgery uh, there for a couple of years, we were trying a lot of different things and a lot of different procedures and medications and painkillers. We were trying everything, just anything that would relieve some of the pressure in my back. And after a while, anybody who's ever been through that knows that after a while, that stuff not only gets to affecting you physically, but it starts affecting you mentally. And it starts getting you down, and you feel like that you're never going to be any better than you are today. And it, and it really gets hard to look forward to tomorrow. And I got to the point to where I couldn't even hardly stand on stage long enough to sing through a concert. And then the medication started affecting me a little differently. They, they, they made me very sick, and, and um, uh, they started taking my voice away. And I got to where I couldn't sing, and I couldn't do what I love to do. And, you know, I didn't understand why I was having to go through that time of my life. And I didn't understand why God was allowing this to happen in my life. And I would pray and I would ask God to help me. And I would ask him to, to, uh, to give me strength. And, you know, it just seemed like that the heavens were solid brass. And it seemed like that my prayers weren't getting past the ceiling. And I didn't know what to do. After the surgery, I started feeling a little bit better. And I thought I could see light at the end of the tunnel. And then right at the end of the year, my dad very suddenly passed away. And I thought, man, there's just one more blow that's just knocked the legs out from under me. How can I go on? How can I keep going on? And you see, I realized that I had let circumstance and disappointment in my life take away the joy of my salvation. And I'd forgotten what God had already done for me 2,000 years ago on a hill called Calvary. That He'd won every battle that I could ever go through in my life. I'd realized that I'd gone through a time of depression in my life, and I needed some help. I needed to be rescued. God's still in the rescuing business today. Amen? I want you to listen to the words of this song that says, I've been rescued. Listen.
than his tender mercy I found. And though life is rough, well, I'm not giving up. Well, even when I'm tested and I'm tried, well, I'll not waste time doubting. I'm going to go on shouting out for us to the winning side. Well, I'm that same. thing to do after you sing that song. Y'all stand. We're going to take up a love offering. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, David Sutton, Eric Bennett, and Arthur Rice. Have you enjoyed them other night?
well, I need to let some of the older guys go lay down, <laughs> mainly me, and get us a drink. And while we're doing that, I'm going to turn loose the best band in Southern Gospel music, in my opinion. I love these young men. Listen, these three fellas could be out here playing pop, country, rock. They could play any style of music that they want to play. They're that talented. Trust me, they could play any style. But aren't you glad they have a heart and a desire to play Southern gospel music? Come on, folks. I want you to let them know it. The Kingdom Air Band.
Thank you. Thank you. Man. Man, it sounds like to me they liked you. Liked it. They loved it. And Jeff, you and Dennis are right. You know, about what y'all been saying for, what, six months now or a year? You know, what y'all been aggravating me to death about? How about them liking the band better than the singers? You know, about how the audience responds better to the band. What? It's, oh, yeah. You didn't know they had been thinking that? Didn't know. No, I didn't know. Well, what are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking Jeff about. Jeff and Dennis, they even had a little meeting this morning. And Dennis come to me right before this show, and, and he seemed to think that we should look at changing the name of the group. Yeah. He said he thought it should be like the Kingdom Air Band with backup singers. That's what he said. He said we could set up out front, y'all would be in the back, and we'd give you a cute little name like the Airheads or something. But I told him we should just be glad backing you guys up and maybe get to play a song once a show, maybe twice a show, you know. You, wait a minute, and, uh, you had nothing to do with this. Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> don't, don't shoot the messenger, they say. Jeff, I can't believe that. I can't believe them either. <laughs> of all the times to bring this out on you the day of the video. You just hang on over there just a second. Did he say any of that? Is that true? No, sir, he's lying. I am not. You're lying. No, I'm not. You know what the Bible says about a lie? Yes, I do. It says it's an abomination against God. I thought it says it was an ever-present help in the time of need. No, no. You sure? Did he say there's no I and team? Did he say all that? No, no. Steve, he walks around constantly saying, boys, there ain't no I and team, but there's an M and an E, and that spells me. I did not. Well, That's what I... You've been like this all your life. Like ever since I, you come into this world. That's the reason Mom and Daddy liked me better than they did you. I just thought I was adopted. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> tell you what we're going to do. Obviously, I'm going to have to start leaving one of the singers out here with you because what? one of the vocals is also a musician. Who? I'm going, you, you just hang on a minute. Come here, little man. Come here, Davo. Where hey. you at, buddy? Come here. Hey, no. Come here. Now, we ain't got time to babysit. They, <laughs> we got, this is an important day. You won't have to babysit this kid. Cause and son, he's not a musician anyhow. He is a musician. No, he's not. He's a harmonica player. <laughs> yeah, he told his mama when he was growing up, he said, Mom, when I grow up, I want to be a harmonica player. And she said, well, son, you can't do both. He didn't. He's too little. He don't. He plays a small well, instrument. He's not even tall enough to ride half the rides here. He's rode. <laughs> he's not. He's rode every ride well, on this car park because he takes me with it. Well, have him show you his driver's license. What's his driver's license got to do? Right with under it? his picture, it says actual size. It does. It does. <laughs>
Richard Sutton and the band. How about it? Gentlemen, did you enjoy that, Eric Bennett? Dinosaur bones buried 
say that nobody knows the answer but God. Let me hear you say amen. The only truth is found in God's Word. He chose the foolishness of preaching to tell the world about it. Though many disregard what they've heard, you can get the revelation. Just put your faith in action. Go wait till every mystery is solved. Cause at the heart of the matter, nobody knows the answer. a blessing each and every day that I walk out on the, on the platform, out on the stage uh, to sing. And I, I thank God every day for the opportunity to, to be able to do it, who I do it with. And, and, the, and the devil and, the old wor and this old world, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody ever tries to tell you that nobody doesn't care about you and nobody doesn't love you, I was very fortunate, very blessed. I was raised in a wonderful Christian home with a wonderful mother and daddy that told me every day how much they loved me. They also told me how much Jesus loved me. So if the world ever tells you that nobody doesn't love you, the old devil tries to get you convinced of that, the devil's a liar today. Jesus loves you so much he went to a place called Calvary. As a matter of fact, he loves you more than you'll ever know. And I hope you enjoy this next song. Jesus turned and questioned Peter. How much do you love me? Love best thou me more than these? It was the question of the ages. Presented by the master who, if he were asked, his reply would be, I love Yeah. 
enjoy it, these guys. Come on, let them know it. Thank you all so much. We're going to do one more song for you right here, and uh, we have lots of other things to do, so don't uh, just kind of hang on just a minute. And uh, had that note somebody gave me before the show. I told him we was doing a video, but just a request we had. Y'all don't even know what it says. Hang on just a minute. This says, please let Dennis sing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 okay, okay, hang on just I don't a know second. Who, who See, out here gave me the I, I, think I, know, I think I know who done it. Oh, you? That's your writing. <laughs> you wrote, please let me sing. And then you marked out me and wrote your name in there. I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. That's your handwriting. All right? Listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is one thing for you to come out here, for, for us to come out here, and somebody in the audience requests for you to sing. It's, however, quite another for you to request yourself to sing, Dennis. I mean, my goodness, son, are you wanting to sing that bad? Wait, I, I, let, me, let me ask that again. Are you wanting to sing that bad? 
I, Steve, I don't want to sing that bad. I just can't help it. <laughs> oh, do you mean do I want to sing that yeah. bad enough to write my own note? <laughs> well, I guess I do. Could I? See, you, you, you're setting you set me up. I can't say no now after the response you got out of the audience. So you go ahead, but I got to tell you something. All he knows is Christmas songs, cause I only let him sing during the Christmas show. And that no, 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 no. See, I kind of had visions of me doing this, <laughs> kind of uh, on the video. So I learned me a new song that I could do any time throughout the year. I call it my all weather song. And uh, I could, I could uh, do it here. Well, are you doing an acapella? Cause your band's left you. Uh, no, I'm gonna do it here, not Mexico. <laughs> so, okay. Hey, I'm gonna go over here and get ready, cause I had a little bit of preparation time for this. So go ahead and say something good about me, even if you have to make something up. Oh, who put that there? So uh, <laughs> go ahead. I'll be listening. Ladies and gentlemen, say something good about you, huh? Um, how many of you have never heard Dennis sing? Clap your hands. Well, let me explain something. He's a drummer for a reason. He is great at it. This singing thing, well, let me just put it this way. Y'all be Christ-like. <clears throat> Listen. <I'm> <laughs> I applaud and clap and scream and holler because I'm going to tell you something, it ain't good. I said say something good. I'm getting to it. I'm a getting to that point. Y'all just... Hey, that's okay. Don't hurt yourself. We're on our way. Well, it's just kind of hard on the spare moment to kind of think of something. You're a little overdressed. Hang, hang, hang on just a minute. What have you done, Lester? What are you and Earl doing out here? Well, I'm a picking, and he's a grinning. Well, we're not quite ready yet. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hey, let me, I got somebody else I need to get out here, okay? Is that his, is that his train coming in? Is he dropping him off right there? <laughs> well, after you see him, that may be the truth here. Uh, Eric, come on out, buddy. Oh, you, you don't look. Him involved, oh, too. yeah. <laughs> look, check him out. Eric. Your, ki your kids are missing you there, Eric. Uh, well, hey, we're still not ready because we have a, uh, a surprise in this little act here. Steve, come here. Look at him. He is excited. Come on over here. We got a spot right here between me and Eric. We are you serious? Oh, yeah, we got a surprise well, for I you. I don't know what you're doing, but I catch on quick. Surprise. <laughs> Eric, that worked pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Now, folks, we are ready to have a little fun. And I want you to make welcome to the stage here today, Dennis Murphy and the Smoky Bottom Boys.
The boy said thank you. <laughs> All right, here's a song we're going to do for you today here at the Show Street Palace that back a couple of years ago just took off on the charts. Matter of fact, this song is still on the charts, and we feel like it's been there long enough, so we're going to go ahead and bring it on down. <laughs> and we hope you enjoyed it. It goes like this. I want potato two, potato three. Shot at the bucket. We're going to have to do that again.
I, I can't sing it no better than I did right then. You'll sing it for me? All right. Where do you want to start? Listen, while that camera is off, let me, thank you all so much for coming from the bottom of our heart. Now, listen, y'all just, just be yourself, clap, scream, and holler, because that first audience we had in here, man, they were great. Some of them had been on Jerry Springer. <laughs> I recognize two of them. I watch him every day. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do that one again, and then we'll, do, we'll go on. But y'all just act like we didn't stop. And then when you buy the video and you're sitting at home, you can say, look there, Margaret, this is where they stopped. But they can't fool me with it, I know. How's that? Are they ready? Hang on, hang on a minute. 